Hello everybody. Yesterday was my normal garage sailing day. Um, I've been going every Saturday now for a while, uh, but when I woke up at 6.30 in the morning, it was pouring down rain, so for obvious reasons, I didn't go. Uh, that means that today would have normally been my video game finds at garage sales, but as you can read by the title, it is not. It is games for sale and trade. Um, some of this stuff is what I got last weekend, but I forgot to mention that uh, it was available for sale or trade. Um, I basically just said, this is what I got, cool, bye. So I'm going to show some of that stuff again. And there is a couple new games also you guys haven't seen that will be in this video. And then at the end, uh, I'm going to mention uh, some of the games that I'm looking for on the Saturn and the Sega CD. Um, because if you saw my New Year's Resolution video for 2013, I want to finish off those collections for myself. Um, so keep an ear out for that. But first I'm going to show what is available. And Sonic 3D Blast on the Genesis is first. Complete in box with the manual, inserts, boxes in good shape. Just has a little bit of a scuff on the side right there. And <clears throat> there's the remainder of some sticker up here. And it's caused the box to have a little bit of like white peeling. But not too bad. I'm sure you can get the rest of that sticker removed. Um, but I mean for the cardboard Genesis boxes it's in pretty damn good shape. Uh, next is Tomb Raider on the Sega Saturn. Still has a price sticker on the plastic case, but that would come off very easily. Uh, the disc is in really good shape, only a few little marks on it. Manual's in good condition, except the uh, you know, mail away card has been taken out. Um, and the back insert is good, no cracks or anything on the case. Uh, next, Clockwork Knight. Um, <clears throat> the disc does have scratching over the majority of it. It's light, um, nothing too deep, but the manual is pretty much completely fucked. I mean, it has some stains on the front, and the pages are all stuck together. Uh, the case and the back insert are good, though. Um, so this would definitely be like a, I just want to play this. I'm not trying to get it for my collection kind of purchase. Um, next would be... Uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings on the Wii, which I got a few weeks ago. Um, that's pretty much good and all, all around. Uh, the Punisher on the PS2, good condition, the disc is in good shape. Uh, Steel Empire on the Genesis. It is missing its manual, but the case and the insert and the game are all in very good shape. Next is Turtles Tournament Fighters on the Genesis. Game is in good condition, no manual though, um, the insert's in good shape, the case though has the plastic like torn on it and there's a little bit of like, you know, some of it missing I guess, like a hole cut out of it probably where a price sticker was or something, um, but the insert underneath did, is not damaged at all, it's totally fine. Um, <laughs> the best game out of all of these, um, Bill LaBeers, yeah, Bill LaBeers Combat Basketball. I don't even really know why I'm showing this, but hey, <laughs> picked it up for 50 cents. Um, now these are some of the newer ones that you guys haven't seen. Um, Saga Frontier on the PS1. Um, now technically this and the next one I'm going to show, a uh, little bit of a story with them. This is in totally good shape. The disc has a few light little scratches. Um, it's actually my copy from my collection, and the only reason why I'm selling it is because I want another one. If, so if anyone happens to have a copy of Saga Frontier um, in you know good condition, manual in good condition, let me know because I'm interested. The reason why I'm getting rid of this one is it has some writing right there and a little white mark on the inside. Yeah, you can kind of tell. Um, and that's is a no bueno for me. I didn't even realize that. It's been, you know, sitting on my shelf for years and years and years, and I probably, I become more picky um, with my collection now. So when I pulled it out to do like uh, RPGs on the PS1 video, I noticed that and I'm like, fuck. So I would like a, another one for my collection to replace this one, but I am looking now to, to sell it. Uh, the only reason why I'm selling the whole thing is because to find just the manual for this, is going to be probably harder than it is for me to just buy another one. I figure if I can sell it and just use that money to buy another one, you know, there you go. Um, so let me know if you're looking for that or if you have one of those available. And then I am selling my complete copy of Parasite Eve Greatest Hits Edition on the PS1. Nothing wrong with this at all. has the um, instructions and the discs are in good shape. Um, the only reason why I'm getting rid of this is this was the last... 
uh, game on the PS1 I have that was a Greatest Hits edition. Uh, all, I now have all regular edition PS1 titles. Um, I am, though, another manual thing, looking for a manual for my regular edition. I have one, but it's kind of shitty. Um, it has some, like, marks and uh, one of the pages is a little bit torn on it. So, again, if you happen to have a copy, original copy of Parasite Eve, maybe you're missing, like, the promo disc that came with it, or your discs are all screwed up and they won't even play anymore, but you have the manual, let me know, because I'm looking for that as well. And the last two games I have, Pac-Man World, complete, good shape. I've had that one for a little while now. And the Sealed Missile Command on the PS1. Um, and then the last thing is, I forgot I had this. Uh, the expansion pack for the N64. Um, one, this was uh, up for a trade, and I thought the person was going to, you know, trade me a game for it, and then they decided they didn't want it, so I'd set it aside to, like, be shipped out when, you know, it was ready, and I forgot about it and got buried underneath, like, a couple pieces of paper. So, hey, I found it! So if anyone is looking for a expansion pack, and, I mean, shit, these go for, like, around 15 to 20 bucks now uh, for just the expansion pack on eBay, so if you want a deal on one, um, I'm your guy. But... For prices or extra info on any of the conditions, send me a private message, um, and all of the prices will, like always, be cheaper than what they are on eBay, um, and a lot of this stuff will be very, very cheap because I picked it up for cheap, and some of it, you know, like some of the Genesis titles aren't complete, um, and like the, you know, some of the other ones, like the uh, Clockwork Knight, isn't in like perfect condition or anything, so I will definitely go low on the prices on those. So send me messages, let me know. Now, real quick, the games that I'm looking for, if you happen to have uh, a Sega Saturn, Sega, Sega CD collection, listen up. Um, I'll go through them pretty damn fast. It is on the Saturn. Uh, Mystaria, Realms of Lore, Dark Savior, Duke Nukem 3D, Earthworm Jim 2, Galactic Attack, Gen War, In the Hunt, The Legend of Oasis, Power Slave, The Horde, The Mansion of Hidden Souls, and Three Dirty Dwarves. And on Sega CD, it's Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Eye of the Beholder, Dark Wizard, Dungeon Explorer, Dungeon Master 2, Skull Keep, um, Heimdall, Pugsy, Shadow of the Beast 2, Sylph Heed, Soul Star, and Wild Woody. And for people that never heard of Wild Woody, no, it's not a porno. He actually plays a pencil. But um, anyways, I'm looking for those for my collection. I, they need to be complete, and they need to be in good shape. Um, I'm not, like, incredibly super anal, but I'm pretty damn anal when it comes to the game. So let me know if you have any of those and you're looking for, you know, getting rid of them. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching, and send me a message if you're interested in anything. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.